H's budget grew while I was there from a little over uh, one billion dollars a year to ten billion dollars. Uh, and NIH was scrambling to find projects in which to spend that money. Uh, and consequently, some of them were not so carefully reviewed and some of them uh, went sour. And the Congress and the Senate were very critical of research that turned out badly or that they considered unjust. And so when the Tuskegee study, uh, which involved uh, not treating approximately 400 black syphilitic patients uh, over a whole lifetime, uh, when that came to light, uh, my boss brought the records of that whole Tuskegee report, put it on my desk, and as I recall it, he said, the New York Times is going to publish a critique of this research on Friday. I want a report on my desk of how the government can defend itself for having offended, uh, having, having conducted such research. And uh, in fact, it wasn't very hard to review because year after year the reports were almost identical and uh, these men were systematically denied treatment for their syphilis long after uh, penicillin had been discovered and was available to them to cure them. Uh, and many of them went to their deaths untreated when we had a very effective uh, treatment for them. Uh, available, and so it was inexcusable. And, so, and you, and yet you were asked to, to write the, the rebuttal I, or the I, government I defense. Was, I was asked to defend the government's position, and I remember writing a very short letter, short memorandum, saying there can be no defense for the Tuskegee study. Initially, it may have been uh, defensible when we had no good remedy. But after penicillin, there can be no justification for what was done. Uh, that memo went through the head of the legislative office, through the vice president for uh, program planning, through the director, through the assistant secretary for health, and it ended up on the desk of uh, Elliot Richardson, who was then uh, secretary of what was then HEW, uh, and consequently, it's the only memo I ever sent that wasn't rewritten on the way up, up the line. Uh, consequently, uh, Secretary Elliott called me to his office and said, what should we do? Uh, and uh, we discussed it for a while. He asked me to write testimony, and that's when uh, I recommended that we strengthen the uh, Office for Protection from Research Risks, which didn't bear that name, by the way. It was part of the uh, uh, Grants Office, so it, it was uh, part of Division of Research Grants, and its initials were uh, IRB. It was the Institutional Relations Branch that solved problems between uh, awardee NIH and, uh, or awarding NIH and awardee institutions. Uh, and so they already had an outgoing program to institutions all over the country. And they added to that program uh, the care of uh, research subjects.